Hello, my name is Joe at XMBR. Now, although we have so many cool rides and experiences outside this physical room, we also have this. And now this is probably my favorite thing here. And this is our green screen room. And what this does, it kind of gives us possibilities for advertisement purposes and stuff like that. So say if we needed a poster and we needed a background for it, we could very easily just do stuff like this. Yeah. And we have a background for the poster, done. But that's not all. So say if, yeah, so say if there's a party or something like that and the birthday boy or girl wanted to play in here, we'd put them in and we'd be able to physically put them inside the game and then send them a DVD of it. So it's kind of actually difficult to explain. So you know what, you'd end up with footage like this. So if you don't know what that game was called, that game was called Beat Saber, and you can play that here along with so many other games. But for this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how we physically set up this green screen. So let's dive in. Okay, so going off the equipment that you're going to need. So first of all, you're going to need a HTC Vive or any of the virtual reality headsets that you're going to use. So next you're going to need some good lighting to make sure the green screen is well lit. You're also going to need any camera. You're not going to need anything fancy, like we're using the Logitech HD camera. It does the job. And of course, finally, you're going to need a green screen. And then that's it. So after you've done that, all you're going to need to do then is load up Steam VR and click up Room Scale Setup and follow the instructions provided. That's just pointing out your floor level and then also mapping out your play space. Once you've followed all them instructions, you're good to go. Okay, so now all that's done, now you need to actually go and get Live. So start by going on Steam and then just typing in Live. That's L-I-V. Once you've located that, all you need to do then is just download that and then that part is done. So when that bit's done, all you need to do then is Google Open Advanced VR Settings and download that. The link for this as well as Live will be in the description down below. So you're also going to need something to record it on. So you could use OBS or XSplitter, whichever one you prefer, that's absolutely fine. Or you can use any other that I didn't mention, as long as you have something to record it on. And when you've done all of that and downloaded everything that you need to download, I would just highly recommend all you do is restart your PC and that should be you good to go. So when you're back and you have restarted your PC, just reload up Steam VR and then open the Live application. And when you've opened up the Live application, it'll just ask you if you want to install a virtual controller driver. Just press install and then allow that to do its thing. I also want to point out that if you do actually need more help as well, there's also a guide section that will inform you of everything that you need to know as well. So once you've launched the compositor as well, it'll open up a window and that is what will be capturing everything. But until we do the next steps, all you'll see is a blank screen with potentially a watermark on saying powered by live. So if you want to get rid of this, you just need to go and sign up to their discord and then ask for it to be removed. And then they will give you another steam key, which you just need to go and put that into steam. And then that should be that bit done as well. So now that we have removed the watermark and we have also put in the drivers, just restart steam VR and moving on to the next bit. When you relaunch Steam VR, you'll actually notice the live application that is on the right hand side there. And then just reopen the live app. So when you reopen the live app, you'll be presented with capture and you want to go down to target resolution and then just pick whatever resolution 
your PC can handle. Our PC here can actually do 1920 by 1080, so that's the one I'm going to pick. Next, you want to go down to camera and add a new camera. Once you've clicked on type, you just select the one that you want to use. Since we're using the Logitech, I am going to select the video camera. And then when you click on device, your camera should just be there. Again, then you'll be presented with a choice of your resolution for your camera. And again, we can use 1920 by 1080 with ours. And there you go, just by magic, it's automatically loaded up the camera and your green screen has been cropped out. Then you just want to go down to crop and fill and completely cut out the left and right hand sides so you're left with just the green screen. So once you've done that, all you need to do then is press begin calibration and we can start the calibration process. So once you press begin calibration, just put your headset on and you'll be presented with a cross in front of the camera. All you need to do then is reach forward with the controller and get as close to the camera as possible and then use the trigger to select. Then all you need to do then is go over where the crosses are in the corners and that bit is done. And then you'll be presented with two virtual controllers over your normal controllers. So you will actually be presented with a small little menu where you can actually adjust the position of the virtual controllers. All you need to do here is line them up with your controllers and just take your time on this bit and try and get them as accurate as possible. And once you've done that, just press save and your controllers are all lined up. And that bit's done. And now you can just jump straight into games and have fun with it, essentially. At the moment, all you can see is the back of me, but we can change this by pressing the small little button on the controller to bring up the menu and then going to advanced settings. Once you're there, just go on to play space and at the bottom, just move the dial on rotate play space down to minus 180. And then just physically turn around and then you're done. So this game I'm playing right now is Pistol Whip and it's a, it's a really good game to show off exactly what this looks like. So now that all that's done, let's jump into the outro. Okay, so that was our tutorial of how we set up our green screen here. And for us, it works flawlessly. But for you, if for whatever reason it hasn't worked, just go back to step one, go over everything. And if after that, it still doesn't work, you can always comment down below and I will help you the best I can. Or you can always head over to Discord, uh, Liv's Discord server, sorry, and they've got a bunch of talented people there that will help you out as well. But also, if you're in the stop area, come down to XGen. Come play video games, come play VR and nerd out. And plus you can get to hang out with us. And we get to meet you all. Yay! But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the very next video. Bye, guys. VR! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>